Alan, good to see you this afternoon. You've Hi. recently joined Bank of East Asia Union, yes. Asset Management. Okay. You've come into the business to try and refresh it. It's a bank-owned asset management business, which is somewhat different to your previous experiences. How have you found it so far? Stuart, thank you for inviting me. Um, actually, I would say there are not many independent asset managers. They always have a parent company um, supporting them. For us at BEA Union, Bank of East Asia is our major shareholder, which owns 51% uh, of the company. The 49% um, comes from union investment from Germany. So your question would be, what is the bank uh, facilitating us? Well, they provide us as a captive distributor for our products and a lot of relationship to the institutional space as well. On the other hand, uh, the biggest business that I'm owning, which is the MPF business, is to be the investment manager for the bank. So I think it's a lot of synergies um, coming from the both parents where the bank needs investment capabilities to their clientele. And union investment from Germany, they, are, they need a presence in Asia, but they do not have much knowledge in the space and they need a good partner to help them to penetrate into this market and that's where VA Union is born mm. from. As an Asian based manager, are you able to provide Asian investment services back into Germany or is that still too early? Uh, there is a lot of demands for Asian um, capabilities in Europe, uh, but for from our parent union it's still at the start. Uh, first of all, our investment team is the um, Asia ex Japan uh, investment professionals in their overall emerging market space. So when there's allocation for Asia ex Japan in their emerging market space, the ideas come from us. So there is already be fielding into um, the union world of investment capabilities on, on our investment capabilities. Uh, with a standalone unique product for Asia ex Japan, uh, it's still time to develop for my case. You mentioned that you're also a provider of MPF investment services. Do you offer different teams to manage those funds or is it the same people? Oh, completely different. Um, I think uh, BA Union at the moment is the only manager in the MPF space providing fund of fund approach. And we have to set up a multi-asset uh, team to manage this fund of fund business. Uh, they utilize uh, part of the BEA Union product, majority of those come from external service providers. So a lot we work with other fund managers as well. So I feel very happy in the in this uh, forum meeting with a lot of I'm their client. So mm. very well respected. Yes, and you're looking for the best of breed, are you? In that yes, respect, we are. Mm. Yeah. how do you choose them? Uh, we hire um, a person which is in the space. He used to work as a consultant. So he understands how a fund manager works. So he will help into the asset allocation space. For the overall um, asset allocation is provided by union in how we do the market uh, allocation. But on the selection space and top and the bottom up approach, that uh, manager, that team, after interviewing different managers, put the idea, put the concept into that, and, and put it into a portfolio. And Bank of East Asia, are they getting more active in distributing fund product? Do they have an open architecture, or are they using your product exclusively? Uh, Bank of East Asia is, is, open, is using an uh, open architecture. We are only one of the um, product providers to them, so we have to go through the same uh, product due diligence process if we have a product for them. Um, However, I think um, Bank of East Asia is developing its wealth management capabilities in this space. Uh, what they are much stronger in, I would say in Hong Kong, is much more competitive. But I think they have a niche there is in, in their presence, a big presence in China, which is uh, helping us very good. And they also have this QD quarter, which we can work with. And they have really a very deep network in China which uh, facilitates us at ease of client acquisition. Mm. And if you're looking forward from now to the next five years, yes. what is your expectation of the growth of your business? Well, I think if I, I have three lines of the business, uh, which is um, MPF, um, institutional business, as well as the retail. MPF is a bit challenging as uh, we are in the midst of expecting the ECA to come 
either end of this year or next year. The impact is still yet to observe, but I know I think it is growing. How I can work with um, Bank of East Asia because I don't own the product; they own the product, so they need us to advise them on the investment uh, opportunities. Then, the, under my control will be institutional as well as the retail. Institutional is all about AUM growth. Margin-wise, profitability is quite low, but I have to go there. Otherwise, I always be a very small manager. So, this one I think it will be gradually growing and. I have to provide the best of bridge from my own capabilities. So I'm selling a lot. What, well, lucky enough that we have the skill on the Asian fixed income, which is doing very well for me. And I think the growth is much definitely on the retail space. As I say, Bank of East Asia is still yet to tap into this uh, capabilities, and they are doing well. And we are learning together. And I think uh, we have a, a a area there. And retail. We need to go to a third party. Mm -hmm. um, I think insurance is a growing segment for me, which mm -hmm. is uh, working well. Although I bear a, a bank's brand, uh, which is an issue, but not as big as I go into another bank with my product. But I, I, I'm subtly going into that space. I think retail will be something uh, will be much more resultful in terms of revenue. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stuart.